M. Jones Teach 365 presents Lesson 4, B, C, D. Welcome. This lesson will cover the first three consonants in the English alphabet, B, C, and D. B is pretty straightforward. It is usually pronounced as a B sound. B, like in band, baker, or boxes. It can partner with the R to make a br sound, like in bring and brody. It may also, B may also be silent when next to certain consonants. Examples, dumb, debt. B practiced with a silly sentence or two. Becky Byers from Boonesboro bought a billion boxes of blue bouncy balls. How dumb. She will never pay down her debt. Practice saying these silly sentences to master the B sound. C, a little more complicated. C may be pronounced two basic ways, a K sound or an S sound. The K sound is found in words like cucumber, cabbage, coriander. The S sound is found in words like circus, circle, cecil. It may also partner with an H to make a CH sound, like change and chump. Occasionally it will make an SH sound, like in Chicago and champagne. Silly C sentences. Charlotte Chander, Chandler chased the chumps to Chicago. She found them in circus, in the circus cleaning cargo container. She arrested the chumps and they changed their ways. Practice this silly sentence to master the C sound. D, probably the easiest one so far. D makes a duh sound. Denver Dingo Dinosaur. It can also partner with R to make a dry sound. Drive, drum drop. Silly D sentence. Denver the dinosaur dropped dozens of discs in his driveway while dozing in his Durango. Denver dreamed of dark drizzled donuts. Oh, dark, sorry. Denver dreamed of dark chocolate drizzled donuts. Practice the silly sound sentence to master the D sound. The end. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. If you have any requests, questions, or suggestions, drop a comment below. If you really liked it, share this video and spam your friends' inboxes with it. One final note before we end completely. You guys may have noticed me having some difficulty saying some of those sentences with a lot of the same beginning sounds. This is called alliteration in English and often creates what we call tongue twisters. They're sentences that repeat the same beginning sound so much that it becomes difficult to say them. But if you practice these sentences and can say them clearly, then you will have mastered these sounds. Goodbye.